Well, hello everyone. This week we get to learn about an interesting researcher by the name of Dr. Clotaire Rapai. He's an expert at unlocking the code to understand why people do the things they do. He learned, interestingly enough, from working with children with autism and used that experience to better understand the real reasons why people make decisions, and in this case, uh, to find out why they purchase luxury items. In this video, Dr. Rapai uses qualitative research by working with a focus group and goes through three stages to gather research from the focus group in order to understand what they truly think about luxury items. Uh, Dr. Rapai, or it seemed like his designate, uh, is the moderator for these focus groups and they keep the focus group small so that each person can share. Uh, the first stage of the focus group uh, seemed to utilize word association or sentence completion uh, to gather more information about luxury items. The final two stages are designed to get the focus group out of their comfort zone in order to gather honest reactions and feelings about how the focus group members feel about luxury. While Dr. Rapai seems to focus on qualitative research to gather his findings, I believe that he also used some secondary, he could use some, sec some secondary data to expand his understanding of customers' view of luxury items. A good example would be a customer attitude and public opinion research or uh, consumption and public opinion research. Uh, both of these, I think, would provide valid secondary data points to help clarify his research and, uh, you know, maybe provide some better overall information and so it's not just the, the qualitative research. I observed Dr. Rapai combining a couple of different observation methods to understand the behavior of his focus group members. First, Dr. Rapai uses direct observation in the first stage of his focus group, uh, to have a straightforward approach to observe and record how the focus group responds to his questions about luxury. Second, Dr. Rapai uses scientifically contrived observation. Uh, so that's the artificial environment, uh, what he does with having people lay down, uh, having them really feel uncomfortable in a way, get them out of that comfort zone so that he can really get an idea of what they truly feel. I I'm excited to hear your feedback about my comments. Thanks.